Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to share a quick video on how to create a curved wall with an irregular top. So this is a question that showed up on um, LinkedIn this morning. For some reason, I decided that I needed to record a video to share it. So let's look at the question. Um, Peter had created this form, and he wanted to be able to bend it along the curve because, as you can see, this is for uh, a design that requires a curve. So, the solution is to create the curved form and then create the top. And we can do this one of two ways, by creating a wall and turn it into a morph, and then augment the top of the morph, or create a wall turn into a morph, uh, turn the morph into a single plane surface, then create the form and use that as a solid element operation on a wall. Both are valid solutions, um, and I think it's just personal preference whether or not you need the final form to also be a wall, in case it needs to host windows or show up schedules in a certain way, or connect with other elements for whatever reasons, there's pros and cons to both. Now this isn't just as simple as uh, creating a custom complex profile with the form you want and extruding it and then cutting a wall because if we do that, uh, what ends up happening is the uh, you don't have control over what the top of the wall looks like and also the cut is not going to be um, perpendicular to the, to the wall. As you can see, this line is, is all messed up. So let's go through the steps of how to do it. First, uh, you see here, talk about this way. So first you create, take a wall. I skipped it. Imagine this is a wall. Then you right click it and go uh, convert selections to morph. Now it's morph. You have that. Um, and then you're going to go to plan, select that morph, and you're going to draw line segments from one side of the curve to the other. Now the trick here is you got to do this, you got to make all the line segments you want uh, before you start deforming the top of the, surf, of the morph. Um, once you've created the form, it becomes a pain to add more uh, line segments. So now we've done that, we can go back to 3D. So now you'll see, here's our, um, actually let's select all three, because it's, uh, it works well. Okay, so here's the original morph, let's, let's be uh, PRSC here. Okay. Here's the wall. We turn it into a morph. Uh, again, right click, convert to morphs. We take that in a plan, we add line segments to get to this point. And now it's a matter of hold down shift control and watch my cursor changes um, from a black arrow to a white arrow. So shift control, select the segment you want, um, hold down shift to make sure that you're staying locked in the z-axis, and now just individually um, move, select one line segment at a time, and move it up and down. Now, this reminds me of a blog post uh, I wrote recently in response to uh, James Murray with that sloppy modeling. Now we're not actually being sloppy here, but uh, I'm not being careful about um, how far I'm moving it up and down. So, you know, I could I could go in there and be exact um, and say type in one foot. You could do that, but I imagine for something like this, it's about feel. You know, whoever is actually going to be cutting this wall in the field isn't going to be measuring your. Form exactly what they're going to be using it as a, as a reference. 
So there you have it while I was talking. I was just individually selecting each one of these nodes and uh, moving it. Or not, not nodes, actually, that's, that's critical to know. I'm not moving nodes, I'm selecting line segments. If I just selected a node, um, this thing would get really ugly fast. Because that's not what you want. You want to select um, that line segment moving up and down. Now, if we look at, if we go back and look at Peter's original form, it's, it's a lot more elegant than what I did. Which means when he goes to build this, or when you go to do something similar than that, you're going to have to draw in a ton of lines, and then move each one carefully. This isn't going to be fast, but it's going to be beautiful in the end. Um, if there's actually curves, uh, I suggest not doing curves and just getting the lines close enough to approximate the curve. Um, the problems with doing curves on this is you're probably not going to get um, the curve on each side to be um, identical. You know, you're going to try, but it's just not going to work well. Uh, and furthermore, it's going to mess up. It's going to mess up the your face your curve, which right now is is nice and pretty pure. Um, so. Uh, just to follow up on one thing, I cut an elevation of this here, and so you can see that this is, well, it's good. Um, now the other way to do it, uh, I'll just walk through this super quick. Instead of doing the, um, the morph as the final element, you could create the morph to be, uh, solid element operation. And so to do that, same steps. Create the wall, turn it into a morph, then uh, you start deleting bits of the morph until you get down to just a single curve. You add the lines, then you move the individual line segments up and down, uh, and then you use that as a solid element operator uh, of the original wall or new wall. Uh, one thing to note when you do, if you do this route, you want to make sure the morph is wider than the wall it is cutting, um, because if it's the exact same size, RTCAD is going to extrapolate things along the curve, and the way it views a morph curve and a wall curve is just subtly different enough that you're going to get some weirdness. So for instance, if I take this wall and make it the same width, you can see that it's the same curve, but for whatever reason, you know, Archicad is just missing it slightly there. So you just make it. You just make sure that the uh, the morph is wider, and you've got no problem. One last thing I want to say, because I kind of glossed over this, when you're creating your line segments, um, move slow and make sure that you get the perpendicular to show up. So right, so that's not right. That's not right. That's right. Uh, by doing that, all your line segments are going to be perpendicular to the curve, and it's going to be beautiful. So to just end on a pretty image, again, this is what we were trying to do. Um, and once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to be tedious. It's going to take a long time because that's a carefully thought out um, irregular top to this wall, but. There you go. Thank you very much.